What's up guys? It's going to be kind of a, a rushed update. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. But uh, anyway, to uh, start things off, I uh, hooked up with Carlos at Digcom Designs and uh, had me some of these made. Don't think you can get those anywhere. <laughs> but, uh, and just for the record, these are printed out just on regular paper. You know, these, these aren't on the photo paper yet. You know, with a nice heavy stock, this is just regular printer paper and uh, they turned out really well. I just want to get a, a feel for them first before I spent the money on the, the nice heavy weight paper and stuff like that. But uh, I dig them. I think they look great. I've uh, I posted on the Facebook uh, Illinois Central page and everybody dug them. So. But uh, I like them a lot. I think they look pretty cool. And uh, I'm going to try and get with Carlos. We're probably gonna, I'm going to try and see if we can do a Fallen Flag uh, series. You know, with the Burlington Northern and the Chessy System intermodal stuff like that. But uh, we'll see. I've got like uh, four other designs that he's going to be doing for me too. One's a Shelford Rail and one's the Peregrine intermodal. Which uh, that's going to be. And I've got two more... Uh, Illinois Central Designs is I'm going to do. It's going to be the solid black with the white Death Star logo and then a white trailer with just the, the Death Star logo in black just reversed. So I got to give me two more options to do. And I'll probably do, I'll probably, if I don't do a GM and O line, I'll probably get strangled by everybody up here. So I'll probably be doing one of those too. But uh, just wanted you guys to see that. And uh, here's my, my My Jack Crane together. And uh, doing a little work. Um, it was pretty easy to put together. The only really thing that uh, I really didn't like about it is they did not explain this cab, how to put this cab together uh, very well. And it took me some thinking and some looking on the internet to see exactly how it worked because on the instructions it just has it gluing it like to this end right here. And then by the time you put the top, it's like, that doesn't work. So finally I saw some pictures somewhere and you realize that the, the end pieces here slide all the way inside these two pieces and meet up and make the thing. So not not too bad, but it was a pretty easy, pretty easy kit. But the most tedious thing was the little um the staples used to hold the, the actual crane part up. But anyway, that's enough about that. <laughs> and uh let's see, what else? Uh, there's a petroleum refinery up and running. And there's a track going by it. Uh, this is pretty much how it's going to be. Um, I found out with the uh, the Woodland Scenic uh, incline, the 2% starters, I can uh, cut them right straight down the middle and it's perfect width for the track. So all I'm going to have to do is get uh, two of them. And I can do this right here with a nice little slope. Then it'll be ground level, then it'll be pretty easy to do. So, but anyway, other than that, since the last time we did the op session, our switching section here, I've got my little tank farm and a tank car and loading little facility right here. I'm gonna do a little switching up, hopefully at the end of this video and uh, switch out some cars here. And here's this little nightmare project. What I'm going to have to do is take all the piping out from underneath it. And I'm just going to use plastic, the plastic sprues because Walters does not know how to write instructions for this if you add two kits together. Uh, so, uh, I don't even want to talk about that. But anyway, um, as you can see, a couple of new additions to the, uh, to the family here. A bunch of tank cars I got. And most of these were kits that I had to put together. Um, I still have to paint, you know, the top handrails and stuff, but, uh, I like the, the long tank can, so, but anyway, and there's some stuff I need to take off, because I'm not going to be doing, uh, ammonia, so <laughs> I have to scratch those, those stuff off the decal, and, uh, I know on Greg's video, he had that burnishing thing, but I cannot, for the life of me, think of the name of it, uh, if anybody can remember what that thing was, where he was, rubbing on the car. It's like a little felt type thing. It's, it's abrasive. I can't remember what it's called. It's supposed to get an electrical store. I don't know. If you guys can help me out with that, it'd be appreciated. But uh, 
just some of the tank cars, new additions, and um, just to give me an idea, here is the yard lead coming off here. It's going to go around. This will be done with flex track, I do believe. I'm not going to keep it with the easy track. And I've got my AC6000 parked there. Down over there, and way down there, you can see two more turnouts added to Pico, which would give me two more lines to store some of this mess. <laughs> But uh, anyway, let me walk over here and I'll show you the other things here. Give y'all another shot at the... I'm really happy the way those things look. They turned out really, really nice. Very happy as the ICG and just a regular Illinois Central one. And uh, some of you guys were saying, then here's a Intermountain car, ICG Intermountain model kit that I put together. Uh, I guess last week sometime, week before last sometime. Uh, sorry I hadn't been updating as usual. My little one's been really sick. He woke up uh, Monday afternoon after taking a nap wing with a 105 degree fever. So it's been rather hectic <laughs> here around the house. I had to rush him to the, the um, children's clinic and over the hospital and stuff. So it's been just a bunch of... Bunch of headache and mess with that this week, but uh, anyway, he's doing a lot better, and uh, we're just bouting the cold. So, but good news is this week, this Thursday, the high down here is supposed to be 81. So, yay! Looking forward to some warmer weather. But anyway, guys, here's the feeling thing. I have not put anything on the top of that because I'm gonna be painting all the little intricate parts of that. But uh, here is the sanding facility put together. I have not weathered this yet or painted it because that's going to be like a silver that I'm going to weather it down with black. And I am going to be doing that series with the, the weathering of the petroleum kit. I'm going to be using two different uh, two different weathering things. One is the Games Workshop uh, black ink wash and I'm just going to use the regular cheapo Walmart uh, 99 cent special black and just dilute it down and see how it goes from there but um here's a sanding rack it was a really fun kit to put together real easy the instructions were super easy the plastic was good you know good and sturdy you know i wish every kit was like this it, it should be but uh real cool kit to put together just got some of my dummy engines in there to give it a good look see to see how it's gonna look with some engines parked in there real fun kit um can't say enough good things about this one. But, uh, and there's the fueling facility. I don't know which one's gonna come first, the sanding or the fueling. I haven't really decided yet, but it's not gonna go exactly right here because it's gonna be like on an angle along with the, uh, the turnouts right there. But uh, you can see on the number five turnout up there, that, that one that didn't have any track on it, that's gonna be the lead where these are hooked into. And it's gonna come down here. But um, there's the engine coming off the yard, or coming into the yard lead from there. Um, that's, that's pretty much it. I'm going to try and uh, do a little switch out for you guys over there on the, uh, the little tank facility, the oil can facility. Let's give you all another view of this. Really cool kit if y'all can get one, but it's big. It, it takes up a lot of... A lot of space especially if you have the fueling facility let's see i've got a tape measure here from end to end it is 25 and a half inches long and it is let's see here five and a quarter five and a quarter inches wide with a two track thing and this is going to be even wider with that so but anyway guys hang on I'll be right back and uh, we'll be switching some uh, or pulling out all the tank cars going going somewhere who knows somewhere in the mountains just getting them out of Shelford for a little while but uh, be right back guys one thing I did forget to, to say that my buddy Jerry 
I don't have a Harbor Freight down here, but he's got one down in New Orleans by him, and uh, he picked me up some stuff. Um, part of it was Christmas, but uh, I got the uh, the pick set that Brian had in his video. Really cool set. I haven't had a chance to use them yet. Got me a little pair of helping hands. Sawing iron. And this 33-piece deluxe hobby knife set, which is really, really cool. I hadn't even popped it open yet. So you got some calipers, pin vise, uh, four different handles for the blades, um, and then all kind of blades over here for anything you could imagine. And uh, this 33-piece deluxe hobby knife, they even come with a little pin light. Uh, their regular price for this, you ready guys, $13.95. Yep. And then they had a big 20% uh, off one item coupon, so I got all of this for like $17. So, I mean, you can't beat it, you know. You know, really, for, I mean, I'm not going to be doing any heavy duty work, so, you know, you can't beat it. Anyway, alright, now, back to the other stuff. Be back in a minute. Here we go. Maybe. <laughs> and by the way, it is like we in the wee hours of the morning here. I have to say, I love my Pico turnouts. These things are the bomb. I think I'll give a shot of this here. That's what I get for trying to do this at 2 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
And by the way, while we're doing all this, I must say that I am definitely glad that I went with this layout plan instead of the, the yard over here and all that over there because it gives me a whole lot more options. Because this is a nice little switch, switching uh, session right here just with the tank the tank cars, not to mention the, the plastic pellet transfer facility and stuff like that and then the, the plastics warehouse because that's that's three full tracks you can swap out you know and that's let's see one two three four four different things you get to do in just this one little area you know it can take some time if you want to get really nitpicky about it <laughs> so Should be it, guys. Hope they get a pretty cool shot of every the tank train coming by, and then that'll be it for this one.
And on they go. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Until next time. Later.